We are of course on about Moss as per Podrace. The level is so iconic that even my dad doesn't like it. And what I want you to look at today is what exactly makes it such an iconic level. Now to figure this out, we need to go all the way back to the start of the game. When you create a new save file, the only thing you're allowed to do is play episode 1, chapter 1, negotiations. You can't play any other level, you can't play anything else in episode 1, you can't load any other levels in any of the other episodes, you have to play negotiations first. Once you finish negotiations, if you continue playing the game in episode order, from episode 1 to episode 6, you'll have to complete two more levels before you actually get to Moss Esper Pod Race. And what makes Moss Esper Pod Race different? Is that up until this point, you will never have played a vehicle level before. This is the first vehicle level in the game. And what separates it even more from other vehicle levels, is the fact that you do not shoot. In most of the other vehicle levels in this game, you've got something to destroy. For example, the first Death Star, the second Death Star, or your monitor. But in Moss the Pod Race, there isn't actually anything to shoot at. Now obviously the scene from the film that this level is supposed to be from, is very iconic in and of itself, is the infamous pod race between Anakin Skywalker and Saboba. As for the leveling game, it is split up into three laps. You can see you've got the overhead lap counter at the top of the screen. Each lap will follow a slightly different route, and you can't actually beat Saboba and overtake him until you're on the third lap. He's physically too fast on the other two for you to catch up to him. For the first section of the level, you have to avoid a load of pits and navigate through the canyon, as well as a cave, which will then bring you out into the area where the Tuscan Raiders start shooting at you. The Tuscan Raiders are kind of annoying, but they're not too bad. Throughout the level, there will be these green and white boost panels that will give you a speed boost, which are definitely quite useful, and they come in handy at times. Lap 2 is fairly similar to Lap 1. There are only a couple of changes. Firstly, you will get a cutscene, whilst the Bulba knocks one of the other races into a rock, causing it to explode and fall down. Additionally, during the Tuscan Raider area, boulders will fall down and start blocking your path. These don't really do a whole lot, they're just kind of there, and you can easily avoid them. And finally, moving on to Lap 3. Now lap 3 is the lap where you can actually overtake the robber and finish the level. If you don't do that, you'll simply have to replay the lap until you eventually do overtake him. Just like the previous lap, the pathway towards the start of the level changes again. This time you end up going hard right, which doesn't actually give you the opportunity to collect a mini kit if you haven't already done so. There's a mini kit right before you go off the edge of the cliff, so be sure to grab the one if you haven't already gotten it. Besides that though, there aren't actually any other changes. The task and raiders in the boulders are still there, as well as the flat plains area, that is exactly the same as the previous ever laps. Once again, just use the boost pads and you should easily be able to overtake the Bobo. Now all of this doesn't seem too bad, right? Just an iconic scene from Star Wars made into a level. But what if I told you that it can actually get a lot worse? If you've watched my breakdown video of Gunship Cavalry, then you will know exactly what's coming next. If you go into the bonus room, you will find a level called Pod Race Original. Now this level is genuinely irritating. And this level I reckon contributes a lot to the iconic nature of the Moss Esper Pod Race level in LEGO Star Wars Complete Saga. This level is from the original LEGO Star Wars video game, from 2002. It's the original pod racing level. Now the episode 1 version that we've looked at is a heavily toned down version of this level. For a start, the walls will damage you. If you touch any of the walls, you will take damage. This is so irritating, because I haven't really explained about the vehicle controls yet. They're kind of clunky, they're not always that responsive, and they sometimes don't really go where you want them to go. Especially in some of the levels where you've got things that you have to tow, or things that you have to pull behind you, such as bombs or torpedoes, they can be a real nightmare to control. Additionally, for the first section, there is now a timer. This timer is incredibly precise, leaving only a few seconds for you to escape into the Tuscan Raiders section. Which, speaking of the Tuscan Raiders, they have been upgraded to have aimbot. They will literally aimbot you, which is incredibly irritating. But it gets worse for the section because those massive boulders from the episode 1 version we've just taken a look at will one-shot kill you if you touch them, meaning you have to restart the section completely, which just gets very irritating and very tiring. And as for the third section, the flat plains area, while it has now been littered with bombs, little bombs are bouncing around everywhere that you have to avoid. And obviously there's a timer as well, because of course there's a timer, because this is an original LEGO styles level, and they're all apparently very difficult. Now it's this version of the level specifically, that I reckon contributes a large amount to the level overall being well known and quite popular. Because not only is it from a very popular scene in Star Wars Episode 1, a very iconic scene, a very pivotal scene even, because it's where Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan pick up Anakin, it's where they first meet him, I reckon a lot of people's kids will have struggled with this level. And the stigma around this level will have carried over to the complete saga in 2007, 
because obviously in the complete server you've got the new updated version, which is slightly easier, as well as the old very difficult version. In my recording for the official of this video, the episode 1 version, the story mode one, took me around 4 minutes to complete. The original level took 14, which yeah, it's quite a big difference. Overall yeah, not very good for the original one, it's definitely a fairly challenging level. The video on screen now is a video taking a look at all of the arcade levels in the game from the 2 player arcade and ranking them from worst to best. Other than that though, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think of Master's Pod Race? Do you think it's as bad as the Gunship Cavalry? Anyway, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe, and I will see you all later.